there are two types of resources, abiotic resources, which are non-living, such as water, air, and soil, and biotic resources, which are living, like plants, trees, and fungi. One might ask, what is resource depletion? Resource depletion means that resources are being used faster than they can be replenished. This makes the resources become scarce due to high demand. This natural phenomenon is known as resource depletion. The three main reasons why our resources are depleting are overpopulation, the ineffective uses of water, and unsustainable farming techniques that aren't nature-friendly. According to the History Channel, 200,000 babies are born every day, or around 140 babies every minute. That's enough to fill more than two full football stadiums. At a current rate of reproduction, we are dooming the human race. This graph on the side also shows the extreme escalation of our population and predicted populations. Over 222 million women in the Middle East and Africa are having a great amount of children. These countries have women with up to five children at the age of just 24, according to the New York Times. Countries without proper birth control are the main contributors to our rising population. Majority of our water is lost through soil and plant leaves through transpiration. And on top of that, we are wasting the 0.025% of water on Earth we can drink. Moreover, we continue to urbanize more and more areas which stops water from soaking back into aquifers. The U.S. uses 1.2 trillion gallons of water annually, according to the USGS. This is 725 million more gallons than Brazil, the country with the second most water consumption. This shows why the U.S. should conserve water better. Around one-third of our most important aquifers are being exploited and dried up at an exponential rate. The diagram here shows the arrangement of a typical aquifer with water being extracted from it. According to the USGS, around 7,200 gallons of water are wasted every year by dripping faucets for a house with around 5 faucets. Car washes can take up to hundreds of gallons per car, according to the LA Times. However, professional car washers can do a better job and use about half of the water that consumers use at home to wash their cars. These show some common day-to-day -day areas in which we can save water. Many farmers repeat the same crops because they are the ones that sell the best. However, the soil quality is deteriorating when they do this. If we don't rotate the crops, then most of the nutrients will die out and ruin the soil because the nutrients needed for various plants will be gone. Here's why some crops will add particular nutrients and take others. When farmers plant the same crops over and over again, it results in a saturation of one type of nutrients and a serious scarcity in other nutrients. As a result, the nutrient content is imbalanced and it is unfit for plants to grow in. According to the World Wildlife Foundation, the amount of pesticides sprayed on fields has increased 26 times more in the past 50 years. In many situations, fertilizers can cause pollution to land adjacent of rivers and wetlands, which means many ecosystems will be affected by the fertilizer. Fertilizers are deteriorating our resources to the point where they are unusable. Other chemicals such as pesticides are deteriorating the health of our consumers. Fertilizers can also leak into ecosystems, endangering the many animals that live there. Eutrophication is when the environment has too many nutrients or is too healthy. The main cause of eutrophication is when fertilizers leak into environments. In 2007, 2 million residents of China couldn't access water due to an algae boom, a result of eutrophication. These are some stories about natural resource depletion. In 1997, in New Delhi, India, a teacher installed water collectors on the roof of many buildings. This reduced dependence on the government and was able to save thousands of dollars. Also in India, overpopulation is increasing the death rate, the number of jobless people, and making the environment very unhygienic. Moreover, every year, a huge body of water from the inner states comes in through the Mississippi River filled with fertilizer. It then enters the Gulf of Mexico and causes huge algae blooms, which takes away all the oxygen from the water. This shortage of water also destroys most of the animals' habitats. These are the sources we used for our project. And thank you for listening to our presentation.